Alrighty guys, welcome to round four, the final round of this Tuesday Night Modern for you guys. And there's the updated scoreboard here. We got Justin going on the left, yet again playing Jeskai. Uh, he's currently 2-1. Uh, uh, his first loss was to Burn in round one, which you saw that on camera. And we got Kevin Gubrovich, who's also 2-1. Uh, his loss was actually because he didn't, uh, he was late to round one. So, he's technically, I guess, XO for the matches he actually played. Uh, and he's playing Affinity, and the interesting thing is, um, when he sh was showing me his deck, uh, he's playing with Psy, Master Thopperist. Can we go ahead and pull up a uh, guy up on camera, please? And it's in the main deck, and it's pretty spicy, and it's something you don't see in Infinity, like ever. <laughs> so this should be uh, this should be interesting. Yeah, back or, when um, back when I played um, Casey, I um, right. there was some new tech that a lot of people brought to. I think it was a GP. Um, sure. And a, um, they added blue to the deck for Nick Gates and like three or four copies of Psy in the yeah. sideboard. Yeah, it's super interesting. Uh, so real quick, Justin saw extra cards, so they're fixing that problem right now. Essentially, it's a Thoughtseize puts the card, shuffles it in. Like we saw earlier uh, when uh, Forklifts Haley was on and accidentally drew an additional card. And then after the Thoughtseize happens, he gets to decide if he's uh, keeping or mulliganing. Uh, I don't think he's Thoughtseize him at all. It's just that... Oh, he, he might have just looked at the additional card. Up yeah, yeah okay. I think he accidentally it, like, cool. fell off or something. But. Alrighty, and we're going to see a turn one start from Finity. Yeah, um, so... That wait. Hmm, that's a slow start. So in general, um, I think Just Guy is favored in this matchup, just because, you know, they have a bunch of yeah. you have removal. spells and, yep. you know, board wipes and stuff. But with the addition of Psy in the main board, he just might Who be knows? able to, like, outdraw yeah. you. And, and can we please pull up Psy? All right, here it, here it is. The Scrib Ranger. All right. <laughs> I mean, that is a pretty that is a pretty nice card, but it's not it's not exactly Psy. Let's see. I would be very surprised <laughs> if I saw that in Affinity. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. All right, so fresh out of Core 19, we see Psy Master Thopter. Let's look at that guy. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a one one colorless Thopter artifact with your token with flying. So that's pretty pretty interesting. We're gonna see him get a basic island here, which is also pretty interesting. And it, here and we go. it was off a path to exile, I believe. Which should be interesting to Justin, seeing the basic island. Because normally you see a basic uh, mountain or forest to indicate like Hardened Scales Affinity or something along those lines. But here we're seeing the island. Well, like... Yeah. Which isn't the worst because you play uh, Master of Ethereum, right? Well, you, the, but, um, some lists also play um, Thought Cast over Galvanic Blast. That, that is it, true, like yeah. like two schools of thought, really. Yeah, so it, it's looking like a Mono Blue Affinity list spell right now from Skite Justin. The but then the Spell Sky is way out okay, there. Okay, all right. Hold all on. right. <laughs> so when you see Spell Sky, what you normally think is that you're trying to prevent um, something else from dying. In some cases, that's yourself, or in some cases, it's uh, Psy, right? Yeah. I feel like you're trying to. I feel like he's trying to protect his Psy right now with the Spell Sky, and this is super interesting, and I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Spell Sky in the main, okay. I mean, that will save Psy. Because, oh, I mean, Psy's a 1 4 anyway, so it's going to take, like, what, double bolt or a path to yep. remove him or just a board wipe, right? So yeah, it's already well, pretty awkward for Justin. The real issue now is getting a Psy down through counter magic, because Justin, because yeah. he can now leave up, yep. you know, mana every turn for. And I think once Justin sees it and figures out what exactly we're going all in on uh, in Kevin's deck here, he should be able to realize it. And you're going to see Notch there uh, entering the giveaway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the giveaway is another Trina Nemesis. Hey, can someone in chat actually enter an uh, exclamation mark giveaway? Uh, I just want to see if that command's working. <laughs> it, it, it should tell you what the giveaway is then. This side is getting countered immediately. There we go. <laughs> like, Justin spent no time thinking about this. Alright, we're going to have to fix that. I don't like how there's two responses there. Okay, well, for now, if you do use that command, just look at the stream elements one, not the MTG bot one. MTG bot doesn't know what it's doing. All right, and we're going to see that logic not here. Get some work in. So right now, um, hey, can we change the deck, uh, the deck name actually from Affinity to like Mono Blue Affinity? Or I guess Psy Affinity. Are, are, are we good with that? Are, are we good with that name? All right, let's go. Yeah, Mono Blue, uh, Mono Blue is going to work for now. Just because, all right, so Normal Affinity, what we see is that they play out generally um, five to six cards of their hand all out on turn one. You're going to see us start with like a Dark Seal Citadel into maybe a Spring Lace Drum into maybe like a Memory or an Ornithopter or a Mox Opal. You get Metal Craft, you can start activating that. You can play like a Signal Pest um, or like any of these things like Cranial Plating, uh, Arc Bounder Avengers, and that kind of stuff. Here, we're like, we do see a Signal Pest here and we, do, we saw Cranial Plating and all that good stuff, but it's it's a slower version of Affinity. Like, it's very slowed down and you're going more synergistic, right? Oh, yeah. And we see that card that David mentioned earlier, the Thought Cast. 
uh, affinity for artifacts, like an actual affinity card too, which is crazy. Um, and then you get to draw two cards with it for the low, low cost of one blue. Did you see what normally, his two draws were? Oh, I did not. Uh, Ornithopter Mox Opal. Yeah. So, uh, so I mean, now he just gets to like, yeah. He gets to get in for one and then just play an Ornithopter yep. and a Mox Opal. Right. And we're also being told he has an agent of Bolas in hand. Wait, what? Yeah, oh, yeah. That, it's there. That must yep. have been, yeah. Yeah, it was in the back of his hand, so we didn't get a good look at it. <laughs> but that is, is sick. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, it's not really mono blue anymore. But I'm, I'm assuming he's just going to be getting that mana off of maybe a one of Swamp or like a Dark Slick Shores or a Spring Lake Drum or a Mox Opal. Mox Opal yeah. yeah, like, so his mana is fine. Oh, like, maybe? he has four artifacts that can tap for it. Glimmer Void, probably. Glimmer Void, too, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And just the Rainbow Lands. Yeah. Also, what's the other one? Uh, Spire of Industry. There we go. Yep. Yep, so he has eight lands that can guaranteed get it uh, with just input. I mean, like, it's just going to happen anyways. Um, but yeah. He might be playing one of the fast lands. I don't know. I'm not sure if I want it. Now that I'm thinking about all the good things he has. And here it is. The sigh. <laughs> and it gets countered. Dustin just... Come on, no fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> no fun whatsoever. He had a Mox Opal... And an ornithopter ready to come in to trigger this sigh. No fun whatsoever. <laughs> spell <sky. Yeah. laughs> Bouncing the spell scout as well. Well, luckily, he could just replay it. Yeah, so off the that's mocks. not that big of an issue. I mean, it's do not. You, it's a little Do you want to get the spell scout down here, or do you want to get the cranial plating down? I want to get the cranial plating down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is fine. Yep. I mean, maybe, I mean, like, you're showing just less information. And then clearly he Justin like cared somewhat about it to bounce it, but I think Justin actually just wanted to slow him down. He didn't need a draw yeah. card. Um, yeah, I don't think. Especially since this is clearly a slower, or like a I don't want to say watered down, but I mean it makes sense because it's like a blue deck too, you know, like watery. <laughs> All right, so it's like a watered down affinity almost, where like you're like slowing down the pace of the game and you're going more combo-y. So like even Harden scopes affinity, right? You're still playing pretty fast, but you're taking a turn off, right? Yeah. Or you're taking sometimes two to three turns off just to oh, get your combo through. And here is the big man himself, the fairy. This turn is going to be so Hero good. Hero of for, Dominaria. So good for Justin because yeah. he can leave up. Um, Untap and have Helix here. Yeah. Or uh, represent a counter spell or Snapcaster Mage, flashback, nothing. Use options. If you're is that Kevin, a paradoxical outcome? Oh, what in baby. the world? <laughs> Dude. Wait. Is it actually? Yeah, he, he just drew a paradoxical outcome. Dude, this deck is sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm a little confused now, but I do want to see a Tezzer Dude, come I am, here. Dude, I am so excited. All right, so wait, hold on. If you're Kevin, what do you play? So he's focusing on the cranial plane. I, th I feel like I just want to jam out my Tezzer, dude. Like, he has, what, two card, three cards in hand? And he has two lands on top. This is probably one of your best chances to get out of Tezzeret. Because you know there's no cryptic. I mean, I mean there's, there's a couple answers, but we're sending out some artifacts quickly. Which is fine. Like, this, this is still fine for Kevin. Like, this is going to work. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's swinging for seven. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can we uh, get this dude's list, li list after for science? For science. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, in general we ask everyone for their deck list afterwards, so we'll 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 see if he's if he's interested. Normally people are down for that. But yeah, this, this list is looking pretty hot. Wasn't this like the standard deck that like the mono blue storm deck that people were playing for a little bit with Psy? Yeah, for like the tiniest bit in standard. <laughs> yeah. It was like actually a hot second it and no cost no like, more. <laughs> cost like fifty dollars to build, but it was actually like yeah. Decent. <laughs> and like, yeah, we, we were playtesting with it here during our playtesting stream. And yeah, it, it was fun. It just wasn't great. But it was fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> Alrighty. So Justin's down to 12 here. Not looking too hot, honestly. Thinking yeah. about what he wants to do. Yeah, the combination of um, the cranial plating, which can make like any of his creatures an actual threat, and yep. the. Spell Skype protecting it's that creature. pretty good, honestly. <laughs> Justin be flexing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Justin's ex completely foil, completely geared, promoed, all that good stuff. I think I think he's missing. Uh, I'm not sure if he's gotten them yet. It's been a while, but uh, the last time I checked in with him, he was missing like one Kataki, 
Um, but he has it in foil. He doesn't have it in the OG foil or something like that. I don't know. Or wait, was it printed twice? Hitaki? Wars Wage? Um, or it's just once? I think the only foil is in Kamigawa, because um, the other time it was in the Modern Event deck. Okay, but, but it wasn't... Yeah, but you yeah, think yeah, it was... Yeah, okay. Could, yeah, you couldn't get those foils. So you might be missing, like, a, a near version of that or something. I don't know. But yeah. His deck's pretty... Pretty. Foil decks are the best. I don't... Yeah. Personally, I don't agree with the um, Expeditions, but that's just because I don't like the way they look. But Sure. I mean, well, I mean, I like the Expeditions a lot. I don't like the... It was in Modern Masters. Okay, so I think he... Yeah, so that's what happened then. I think he had the Modern Masters 1 foil... But not the OG kind of olive foil, which is what he was trying to get. Yeah, you got to go with the OG ones. Like, I mean, yeah, always. All right. Promos look like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like the expressions a lot. I think they like great art on like all of those. Uh, I mean, there's a couple that are a little questionable, but I mean, all in all, like pretty great. Uh, the invocations, I thought. Um, oh. Ooh, those were like the ones from uh, Omnicat. Omnicat. Yeah, those yeah. are awful. Those uh, are there so was bad. a couple good arts, but in general, they were pretty terrible. <laughs> you like can't read what the cards are. Yeah, like, you can't <laughs> read it, and some of the arts were just bad, and and then they're like the, the the few good arts were just ruined by the border and all oh, that stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're not great. Um, and then the masterpieces were pretty good too. The artifact ones. Yeah, yeah, those were pretty. Good. Those were pretty solid. I like the orange border. Yeah, yeah, like, I like the borders on those. I like the, everything about them for both of those. Like, fantastic art. They looked nice. They looked expensive. Like, reasonable, like, pretty solid foiling. But the invocations were like, wow, okay. Uh, but, yeah, big letdown there. I want to see one of these. Um... Yeah, the shocks were very nice. Some of the fetches were just, like, weird. Like, you just, like, like a, a toddler took water colors and we're just, like, swirling them together. Oh, yeah, like, like the uh, Wooded Foothills Blood Cinema, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's, that's the one I yeah, it was, was those, those are the questionable ones, but besides that, they're very nice. I think the shock lines were actually some of my favorite. Like, the steam vents, the hollow fountain that you see there, uh, perfect. Turn? Yeah, the dude. Yeah, dude, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yeah, that was funny. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry about the sorry about the camera right now. We'll, we'll have it fixed by tomorrow's stream. Alrighty, I don't know why you why you want to keep blaming me. I did absolutely nothing. Alrighty. <laughs> Who do you think's winning this game right now? I'm pretty sure Justin just has it locked out, but uh, yeah, I think he just flipped in his Kanta, I believe. And yeah. he has to bury... He did flip it as Kanta. Yep, this is game sorry, we haven't been talking too much about the, the game, but it's it's pretty locked out at this point, which is unfortunate. Yeah, he answered the spell sky, which was like the only thing stopping he him. He counted the sigh. GG. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tezzeret's still chilling though. He might he might see some see some action. Hope I mean Dude, hopefully. That, I would be te if Tezzeret resolves. He doesn't he just die? I mean maybe. Well no. So the so the thing is if we rewinded like probably like three to four turns by now or turn cycles, uh when he went for the cranial plating after like the cryptic command bounce and all that stuff and oh, he yeah. played the very untapped two lands, I would have just jammed Tezzeret there. Oh yeah, I think so. Because like, he had two cards in hand, I think, and they've. I mean, I don't know if he's been keeping track, but like we knew that they were in there in his hand like the entire game. Uh, but in general, it was like the low chance of him. There's a fairly low chance of him having counter spell. Yeah. Because one of those was also a random draw off to fairy, right? This wasn't even a controlled draw. Or like something that could be like sitting there, right? So it could just be like another land or something. But, right. But, yeah, like, e like even right here, Justin just has like double lightning helix and can just clean up his board. Yep. Yeah. That was like the one chance I saw for to Tezzeret to come down. And then Kevin didn't take it and he went for the cranial plating. Which wasn't terrible, but I, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, um, Tezzeret ults when he comes down, right? He can just ult immediately. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up Tezzeret. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty it, sure he does, and his ultimate is... Um, make your, your things into actual things. No, no, no. Or, that's, that's one. No, that, that, that's the other one. Yeah, his, um, his plus ability is, like, look at the top four, get an artifact, put it in your hand. His minus ability is make something a 5-5. Five five, yeah, yeah. Then, it's just one thing, not yeah, all. His, okay. his ultimate is um, your opponent loses X life, where X is double the number of artifacts you have Oh, it's play. double? Double. Oh, okay. Yeah, it will it will kill you. Okay, yeah, all right. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to pull up Tezzeret, and we just saw Tezzeret resolve here. Well, then, isn't he just dead? Because he has one. Oh, uh, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah like Justin's at two. Dead. Yeah, Justin's at two. Well, he has a <laughs> helix, so he can gain three. And he can kill the Ornithopter in response, so he gets rid of an artifact, and he gains three. Does but he, he still has one, two, three. He can still deal six. Because he can, he can animate, right. the, animate the land in response. And he has... Wait, no, even without animating, he still he has a plating, a yeah. Dark Steel Citadel, and a Mox Opal. Wait, but he plus? Did he, he just plus? plus? Wait, is that a what? five? Wait, no, he didn't plus. He didn't plus. He didn't plus. No, wait. No, it comes yeah. in at three. Yeah, it's not four. 
Oh, okay. You can't do it immediately. Okay. Perfect. That makes more sense. All right. All right. All right. So it went from <laughs> three to four. I was a little afraid. <laughs> the math checks out. <laughs> okay. For some reason, I thought the, the minus three and the minus four were flipped. But I didn't think the minus four, like, doubled it. And I thought the minus three oh, was yeah. everything. Yeah, one of my uh, one of the guys back at the, uh, the shop in Indiana I used to play it all the time put plays that in a sideboard of Lantern. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That's, like, legit. So he locks you out. I'm pretty sure that still is a thing right now. <laughs> it's disgusting. Especially in the, lan <laughs> uh, like, in the Lantern Mirror, it's also just funny. Because, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Lantern Mirrors are, like, some of my favorite matchups, honestly. No, get out of here. <laughs> it's really, like... Whoever assembles more codex orders than the other person does first. Oh yeah, without <laughs> having a pithing needle resolve though. <laughs> yeah, like because if a needle resolves, then no more shredders, and it just doesn't matter. <laughs> it's actually just hilarious. Uh, Justin's currently uh, two one. He lost uh, round one um, against Burn, which was just bad games. Uh, like yeah, well, like the players were in a fan. I mean, I thought they were like interesting games, uh, regardless, but. Like, it was, like, someone got flooded, the other person got flooded, the other person got land screwed. That's kind of how that went down. Yeah, they just had four mana spells stuck in his hand. Yep. One, two, and two four mana spells. Jay Santa Cryptic. Um, that's not how Teferi works. Or what did Teferi do? Um, doesn't Teferi tuck it second from the top? Uh, it's third. It's third from the top? Yeah. Okay. All right, never mind then. So it looks like he has... Springleaf oh, Druid. Whatever happened to that paradoxical outcome? That's a good question. I never actually saw it with my own eyes. I think he has a hangerback walker in his hand. Or it's that or it's the outcome. I don't know which one. Okay. Well, Snapcaster's getting in. Justin might be able to close this game yeah. out. You know, you know you're behind when the, <laughs> snapcaster the, the beating. control player starts attacking you with the Snapcaster Mage. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you kind of are just, like, dead at that point. Oh, yeah. You have nothing out. I mean, I guess you have a cranial putting in on board, but that's pretty much nothing. Okay. Justin passes the turn. So this game should be pretty over. I'm not sure what Kevin could draw to get him out of it. Yeah, I think it's a combination of the Teferi and the search for his, the flip search for his contab just kind of shut. I the mean, door yeah, that's on. how that deck just like closes games, anyways, or like secure. I guess secures games is a better way to put it. Yeah. And then you snapcast ways to close games. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see, we got another sigh. Yep, that's a sigh. All right, Justin, just let it resolve. See what happens. Come on. What's the worst? Don't I know, do right? it. Like, Boo. <laughs> right? Jeez, come Doesn't on, like man. Fun, dude. It, what? What? He has like what? One more card in hand that he can get like what? Like a single thopter off of it? Like? Uh, a, well, he could draw two cards. Yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. Like right now, but you draw two or right, cast, right. cast. I think, I think this is at the point where you're like, okay, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would have been done like a while ago, honestly. <laughs> like the moment you get locked out with no car, like no actual like threats in hand at the ferry, and then a search for Kanta, the game's over. Yeah. Because he's going to be able to activate search, get an answer, and then Plus keep drawing untapped, cards. Search, yep. Find another answer if you don't do anything. Yeah, I mean, well, the moment your opponent starts double activating search for his Kanta, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're just like, whatever, okay. <laughs> like, here, here's a Tezzeret. You know he has the counter tool for it, so there's, like, no point in casting it in the first place. You, you probably should have just baited something, but it, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can't tap like that. He needs black yeah, mana. There you go. There we go. But he can't even activate. He, oh, yeah, he can. Yeah, he can. He's Melcraft. Yeah. I forgot about the Citadel. Well, no, he has it anyways, right? It's just three total. Yeah, is, well, he has exactly three. He has Mox, Opal, Citadel, Springleaf Jump. I didn't see the Citadel. He also has the plating, though. Oh, yeah, the plating. For some reason, I thought it was in favor. Never I mind. I mean, it, it's over there. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do we got? Seven more turns for the Snapcaster Mace? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, this Teferi might ult. Yeah, I mean, just look uh, at that right. search effect. Three bolts and a mana, or... What was that other one? Oh, I missed it. I don't know, there's some sort of counter spell. Oh, Alright, okay. we're conceding. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> S save a little bit of time. You might need it. We'll see. I wonder what Kevin has in his sideboard. I assume, like, some number of negates or, you know, counter spells. Alright, yeah, so he's playing blue. Is that... I mean, I would Wait, go for... was that it. main board? Hold on a second. What? What was the ma what main board? What did you see there? I thought I saw a gear per Aether Grid in the main. Hmm... <laughs> But that can't be right. There's no way. I'm pretty sure it's just blue. If he's also playing <laughs> red, I feel like that's just bad decision making. Gr Gr Grixis Affinity. New meta. Here we go. Yeah, dude. Let's just <laughs> jam out Grixis. Do why not? Um, 
Hold on, let's look again and see. Yeah, we can... dude, you get a close look. Chat, you can also convert. That that was it. That was there it. Is, there is a there's a gear for Aether Grid in the oh main. Oh my god. That is sick. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So he's not only is he playing blue, he's playing black and red. Grixis Affinity, here we go. Dude, he's going all out. <laughs> wait a second, hold up. All right. Dude, actually, wait, hold on. All right, think of this. Okay, so this is why he's playing Aether Grid in the main. Uh -huh. Because Psy just pumps out dudes. It does, and, and yeah. if you're in a board stall, you can just kill them with the Thopters by tapping them, right? Yes. But also, if you have Aether Grid out, you tap all of your artifacts mm -hmm. to like ping them, and then you paradoxical outcome. You pick them all back yeah. up, you recast them. And you them, redo it. And you, well, know, you I mean, just do it all over. You can't pick up your thopters, but yeah, like that's the general idea. Yeah, right. yeah, but, but you just, Wait, you just play did the... we see an outcome? Or Yeah, we saw it game one. He had it in his hand, he never played it though. Okay. Yeah. But um, but then you. Like, F. Or, like, uh, no, sorry. How many outcomes did we see? Like, we're going through his I deck. I think I only like, saw the one. Okay, because it just yeah. seems like a, a bad. I mean, like, I don't, I don't feel like I would play four of it, right? Dude, he's so, a combo deck. Yeah, so we only saw one. <laughs> All right, so he's going for the turn two Gear Per Aether Grid, turn three Psy, turn four Tezzeret or something, and then you also cast your Ornithopters. So what we really want to see out of this Affinity deck is no turn one plays. We want to go turn two. Oh, wait, maybe a turn one. Can you do a turn one Gear Per Aether Grid? Yeah, you say maybe he, like, goes for that, and then a turn two wait, Psy. Can you? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he no, can. Like, yeah, Citadel. But, like, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Like, would you rather just hold up your Mox Opals to get those side triggers? Um, maybe I would play the first one to like turn two Psy and then like okay, turn sure. three you make a bunch of dudes play your Aether Grid. Well, I, I mean, I feel like so, uh, normal affinity, right? You're playing like a very low amount of land. Uh, how yeah, many probably is it? like oh. 17 ish, maybe? Yeah, it's around 17. Yeah, uh, it's like 17 to 20. Um, but then this deck has to at least, like you have four drops to play, right? So you you have to at least be playing, yeah, but 20. you have, well, you're also playing Mox all right. Opal someone said we saw two, okay. Okay, cool. I can't wait. I hope he goes off, and we yes. just get to see this Aether Grid go nuts. So the problem <laughs> is, he's playing against, like, the worst deck to go off against. He has, yeah. just suggested has counter cells and removal. Ruins everything. I was, I was just thinking about, um, how, uh, I mentioned earlier in the stream that I would play Mardu Pyromancer, and Affinity's, like, a fantastic matchup. Like, I would play against right. Affinity, like, 15 yeah, yeah. rounds in an open and be the happiest person in my life. But, like, with mainboard Aether Grid, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, sure, <laughs> I would. It's, it seems it's, it seems rough. Yeah, I would be if I was at an open and my opponent played an Aether Grid game one against me. I would probably call a judge and see if they maybe like didn't side. Yeah, miss sideboard. <laughs> yeah, didn't do sideboard correctly or something. I mean, but, yeah, honestly, but it's actually pretty sick. Everybody forgot. Yeah, of course. Uh, for you, for you guys curious, so uh, we stream modern Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Uh, we also have uh, Wednesdays we do standard, and besides that, we're trying to get uh, more into like YouTube specific videos, uh, as well as other formats, etc., etc., etc. And then one other quick thing to go off of uh, while we're in between games here, uh, we are we did start up a giveaway, so it's for a true ne uh, true name nemesis. Anyone in the world can win it, and it will be shipped out to the winner uh, once the winner is chosen next Tuesday at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern, live on our Tuesday night modern stream. Uh, me and David should probably be here. Uh, commentating that one, maybe? On you, yeah, next yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, we should be good to go for Tuesdays, uh, but the two of us now. Um, yeah, so you guys will catch us that Tuesday. And if you guys want to enter in that giveaway, use the command exclamation mark enter. Uh, and it'll take up uh, 20 points uh, per ticket. And you're going to max the 10 tickets per person. Uh, where's Angular Titan? Not here. Which is important. That deck's fun. Um, anyways, you get uh, points from following, subscribing, watching, uh, cheering bits. And if you guys want to enter in for this giveaway, uh, go for it. And uh, see how many points you guys have. Use exclamation mark points to see. And uh, see right there. Um, uh, you want to pronounce that one? Heliobido? Yeah, he Heliobido, I guess. Yeah, all right. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was a little confusing. All right, yeah. So, like, Heliobido's got 50 points for following. Uh, and then also, if you guys have an Amazon uh, Prime, you can link that to your Twitch account to get Twitch Prime. And you can use that to get a free Twitch sub. Uh, each and every month, which you can use here to get 500 points to enter in like two full giveaways because it only takes 200 points uh, to enter 10 times in a giveaway. And we do giveaways every other week, as, well as when we announce the winners, at least. Uh, speaking of Amulet Titan, I do believe there is a guy on Fridays that plays it. I don't remember his name. Yeah, I can. Uh, so I also. Uh, so Kyle, do you know Kyle Palmer here? Uh, he, he actually like works at the store. Um. I think so. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he's it. in college, so he's not here all the time, but um, he, he owns Amy the Titan, so I borrowed it a couple of times, and boy, is that fun to play. Yeah. 
I remember trying to learn it um, just by watching Sam yeah. Black play it at the Pro Sure. Tour. I, I literally just took like basic lands, proxied the whole deck on right. the back of these basic lands, and tried to learn it. <laughs> yeah, so we're located in Mason, Ohio. Uh, it's just north of, of Cincinnati, which is generally the landmark, I guess. Yeah, and it's you know or, around like. Yep, right above the Ohio River. Yep. Alrighty, Time Paradox, thanks for the follow. Enjoy that 50 points. You can use that to get a couple tickets in this giveaway if you'd like. Alrighty, uh, so that's the exact same start we saw last game uh, from Kevin here. I wonder if he has the path. I wonder if I, wait, wait, turn to gear part Aether Grid. Let's come on. Here we go. See it. I don't see it in his hand, but uh, I, I just wanted to like pull one out. Yeah, I think he just has like a spring move job. That's yeah. okay, fine. <laughs> path the dude in response. Eh? No. We're attacking, okay. So then we don't need two mana, which means we're probably just passing here. Was there a Psy at least in his hand? I couldn't quite um, tell. I know he had a plating, a land, and a Tezzeret. Okay. That's his hand. Turn three Tezzeret. Get him. I would just start making five fives. Like, <laughs> like turn this Vault Scrape. It's not permanent, five is five. it? Uh, artifact. No, no, I know, but is it not? I think it's an, is it until end of turn, or I is it a permanent 5-5? Five five? Oh, it's permanent. Yeah. Let's get it. All right. Yeah, I, here, yeah, here. I, I'm down for that, because you can't bolt it or anything. And there's a spell sky, too, to, like, protect it from targets. Uh, yeah. yeah. Can you imagine making a spell sky to 5-5, five five too? Like, yeah, dude. Because yeah. then it doesn't die to... <laughs> yeah, t Tezzeret is target artifact becomes an artifact creature with base power and toughness 5-5. Five five. All righty. I'm a fan of that. <laughs> You ever been attacked by a 5-5 five five Lantern of Insight? It does <laughs> not feel good. <laughs> Alrighty, but here we're going to be attacked by like a 5-5 five five Spell Skite, which probably feels equally bad. Maybe a little less. Um, Alrighty. I mean, I feel like... Wait, Justin had one land untapped. Why didn't we just play Tezzeret? Mm. Why? Well, we had three lands and a spring leaf, or Yeah, and the drum to tap with our uh, Volt Scourge. We could have just played Tezzeret. Man. That would have been so <laughs> good. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, okay, so right there, could you imagine... Like, he would have just plussed, right? But, to get it ready for the ult, no, I guess? No, 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 no. Or you want a minus on the Volt Scourge? Well, you can oh, attack yeah. with it just yet. No, no. Also, oh, wait. Yeah, so if you plus, it doesn't die to Bolt, wait, too. one, two, three, four. No, yeah, he could have just played a Tezzeret there, I think. Well, no, the, the island he got off the path here. So he would have had exactly four mana, including the Springling Storm, tapping down the Volt Scourge to play Tezzeret. Why couldn't he, he tap down the spell scourge? What? Why couldn't he tap down the spell Oh, it wasn't, a, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a play yet. Oh, okay. So, yeah, on okay. his turn, instead of playing Tezzeret, he played spell scourge, Kavaranial plating. Uh, Wait, he drew Unmoored Ego? Isn't that the new... Yeah, that's the new blue-black one, which I thought was fantastic, but then... Because I, all right, so originally when I first saw that card, I was like, Wait. Just choose any card. It's like a lost I can legacy, right? Yeah, yeah. So I thought I could choose like a basic force against my stompy opponents and just get, get rid of all <laughs> the lands in their deck. But it says you can search for their their library uh, hand graveyard for only up to four. So I, that was the biggest letdown of my life. I was like, come on. Wait, all right, search target opponent's graveyard hand and library for up to four cards with that name in exile. Yeah. Oh, so I thought I could just ooh. rid. Yeah, I thought, I thought I could get rid of every single land in, in my mono green stompy's deck. And I was just like, I was so hyped for this. I was like, oh my god. Wait, forget all my green-black stuff, dude. I'm playing blue-black. <laughs> like, this is happening. Uh, that was a big letdown, but, you know, it's fine. There was potential. Maybe Wizards of the Coast will hear this. And it's like, you know what? Why not? Let's just run out of that text real quick. I'm assuming it also works that you Yeah, we'll see what he names. I'm assuming you name the card upon resolution and not upon cast. I think it works the same way that, like... You don't get to see the hand before you name it. Yeah, yeah, so, like... I was going to say Spoils of the Vault, but, you know, people, nobody knows what that card does. So. Sure, yeah. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> but I imagine it's upon resolution. Oh, yeah, yeah. Again, sorry, I forgot to shout him out. But, yeah, Justin Geving, this guy right here, you see him on the left playing Jess guy. Uh, he top forward another team event at uh, SCG uh, Columbus this time. He did one in Atlanta, too, very recently, where he came in top four, actually, uh, playing Mono Red Prison and Legacy. So, yeah, big shout out to him. Great stuff. Well, he was with, this uh, guy. He's with uh, Kyle Palmer uh, playing Boris Angels in Standard and Paul Kerbal playing um, Green and White Elves in Modern. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw uh, Paul's deck list actually got put up in an article today on Star City. Yeah. Yeah, it was a... Um, I don't remember who, who wrote the article, but they were talking about decks that they think could fly under the radar and potentially win the next Star City thing, and right. Elves was one of the five. So was Ad Nauseam. 
Ooh. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> well, see, the problem with that is that they put out the article and just ruined it. You're just like, wow, way to spoil it, oh, gosh. Yeah, right? so I was going to bring Ad Nauseam <laughs> to this event, and you just ruined it. Everyone's going to have the side... Like, nobody knows what happened to Carson Deck. Yeah, sure. So. I mean, like, now everyone's going to have the sideboard tech for it. Gosh dang it. Whatever. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, I think he has... Tezzeret and Psy in his hand. Uh, I mean, yeah, I want, I want to see Psy, please, please, please. Yeah, he's, he's, he's trying to bait the cryptic command that he knows about. Uh, yeah, I mean, why would? Which actually, if I was Justin, I wouldn't counter this because you have a Wrath of God, like right there. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> so, you're fine, it doesn't matter. Yeah, if he makes a bunch of dudes, so what? <laughs> like, yeah, and also, you know about Tezzeret, and I mean, if you let this resolve, oh no, he can't cast Tezzeret, never mind. No, he can't cast Tezzeret. He would need one more, so I felt like you could like bait out. Yeah. Or like bait bait your opponent. No, but he wouldn't cast it anyways if he knew I about imagine, it. I imagine the other card in Justin's hand is another um, uh, counter spell or something. So. Thanks for the follow. Oh, wait, was that a subscribe? Oh, yeah, that was a subscribe, dude. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime, dude. Thanks so much. Enjoy your 500 points. So you guys, just learn from that, guys. Use your Twitch Prime here. It's perfect. Works out for everyone. Good stuff, dude. Thanks so much. Alrighty. Bane Slayer Angel's down. Game's over. Feels bad, man. Yeah, that card seems pretty good. Yep. I mean, <laughs> the problem here was just that um, Jeskai says no. Yeah, it has spells, <laughs> and it says you're not allowed to cast. Well, you're not. That card's not allowed to hit the board. Yeah. So feels bad, man. I, w I wish Kevin uh, was able to do more, but all right. But uh, let's. All right. I wanna. I wanna think more about this. Turn two, or even a turn one gear for Aethergrid. Turn two Psy. Turn three Tezzeret. Like, oh. does that not seem good? Here we go. Main oh wait, it resolved. <gasps> Let's well, he, go. He's tapped out. Yeah, whatever. But, okay, so you get the hype. Uh, Xenomorphic uh, Rift. That, Thanks for the follow. Enjoy your free uh, fifty points. That actually doesn't matter. I was upset. Why does Baneslayer have to have like first strike? I know, right? I like say, God. I was gonna say you make. Wait, does he have a Citadel? Oh, he tapped incorrectly. No. No, no, he has a Spring Light Drum. He can still make a, no, no, a no, five no. five. No, you should. Oh, so, you make the Citadel five five. Yeah, you tap make the it. Citadel five five, and then, and then you just attack. Cause you're like, <laughs> you just get him. <laughs> you're just like, all right, you're at 16. Yep, good game. Maybe he blocks. I don't uh, know. Can like, we display a deck list? Uh, we can't. We don't actually have Kevin's deck list. If you want Justin's deck list, it should be on our website already. But uh, might not be completely updated. But you know, it, it should be there. But we do not have Kevin's. We will ask for Kevin's deck list though and try and put it up on our website, so you guys can see that. I'll look for that in the I don't know next next few days if we do happen to get it. Well, yeah, unfortunately not. All right, but anyways, let's think. So you have seven cards, right? So turn one, you play Dark Steel Citadel, Mox, Opal, and you need one other artifact. Um, um, like an Ornithopter. And an Ornithopter to be able to activate Mox, Opal, and the land to play, you give her Aether Grid, right? So that's no. using up four cards. You're still one mana short, because you only have two mana. You have land, Mox, Opal. Ornithopter doesn't give you mana. Oh, wait. Aether yeah. Grid costs three, okay. Yeah, um, you have to have, like, double Mox, Opal. That's not even worth it at that point. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. Well, unless, that just feels bad. Unless okay. you know, like, Aether Grid's, like, crazy good against your opponent. Like, if I knew my opponent sure, was yeah. Elves or something, and I, right. I, could, I was on the plate and I could get down turn one. Okay, so then do you do a turn two, Psy, turn three, Aether Grid, and you just cast off your Ornithopters and all that good stuff, right? Yeah. Is that I not... Like, I mean, I feel like that seems pretty... R not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it, um... Probably uh, also not especially the if you best. Can, I mean, <laughs> not the best, but not the yeah. worst. Like, if you can follow it up with a Tezzeret as well, it doesn't seem or, or that bad. Or even have a Paradoxical bad. Outcome. Because you still draw the cards even if you bounce yeah. the tokens, right? Well, I wouldn't bounce the tokens. I would just bounce everything else. Well, I would, I would tap the tokens well, if you get a bunch of damage. And then, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, I, no, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so then you get to yeah. keep the tokens for your Tezzeret ult. There you which go. Which <laughs> does two each. Which you're going to draw off the outcome. Yeah. See, it's a combo deck. <laughs> Uh, what about the deck names and number of turns? Yeah, we can get that to you guys. I mean, we, I mean, I'm not sure about all the decks, but there was about 20. I think there was exactly 22 in this tournament. Um, the relevant, uh, like the most relevant decks, we had Burn, Jeskai, uh, Mono Blue Affinity, apparently. It's currently X, uh, X and 1. Uh, four Colors to Healy. What else did we see? Um, there was Jund. I think we had a Merfolk player. Who's doing blue red merfolk, which is super interesting. Hey, Rob Meadows, how's it going? Robert, uh, I am a walking combo deck, yes, but <laughs> you still cannot have my dog. Dude, he's back. Like, dude, <laughs> he just really wants that dog, dude. Oh my god, it's not happening. <laughs> How old is your dog? Uh, she is just over three months. Perfect. 
Yeah, she turned. She she was three months on the tenth. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yep. But he's a really cute cute dog. All yeah, she is. Yeah, they're uh, yeah. So sorry, our our camera. I don't know if you like. We're looking at the replays. Our camera is definitely not like this normally. It will be fixed by tomorrow for our next stream. Uh, so yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. It is under like a, a light blue tint, which is a pretty annoying. Not gonna <laughs> lie, but <laughs> we're blaming Matt again. <laughs> yeah, dude. What hey, whatever. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look. Oh, he's doing it. He resolved a sigh. Wait, and he sigh? Re he resolved no a sigh and he resolved a Tezzeret. It's ghost. happening. Wait. We're going on. Wait, ha wait, has he activated Tezzeret yet this turn? Um, I believe so, yes. Okay. Because he's at five. So he's that's, at a, uh, that's, a, that's a letdown, but... He used to be didn't. Wait, how many cards are in his hand? How many cards are in Kevin's hand? Yeah. I don't believe he has I, any. Yeah, I feel like at this point he's just like out of cards, but... All right, well, that's, that's unfortunate. Ooh, wait, can we get in there? <laughs> well, I mean, easy. You can just never watch my dog. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, <we're> like Robert, <laughs> you're literally missing out on an opportunity to babysit his dog. Like, sorry, dude. Dude, mistakes on you, dude. <laughs> I can send you pictures, but you know, uh -huh. <laughs> you can never meet her in person. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mistakes are made. <laughs> Alrighty, I mean, alright, so this deck, or so this game should just be done. I think it was probably done a little while ago, but we got a spark of hope there. We have to see Sire resolve and Tezzer resolve. That's that's pretty good. Like, what, what more can you ask for? Like, really? Okay, so a paradox go out come off the top <laughs> would be what I would want to see. It does, well, I don't even know if it's good. No, it, it's not. He's it. not. He doesn't have enough lands. I just want to see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see that card cast in modern. Is there anything bad? Actually, what if he starts off with a thought cast? Draws two cards. Well, what a, into another thought cast? Draws two more cards. So, what, what are the best possible three cards uh, you can get? Mox Opal, Ornithopter, Outcome. You're right. Wait, what if he just keeps on uh, getting thought casts? Like, he, he could probably win this game, right? Because then he gets four additional cards uh, off each thought cast, one off each. So, oh, right. so actually, okay. So, it's super unlikely, but. Yeah, what I would have done was not. Oh, wait. Let... Angel dies here. Or sorry, Angel. Yeah, Angel kills dies. Yeah. Never mind. Dreams out. I don't think I would have attacked win. with that signal pass. You don't you, think you would have? You can use it to block. Or wait, no. Never mind. It doesn't have flying. Yeah, no. Never mind. It only has like the weird, the other claws. It, yeah. Um, and there's a box opal. Woo! Yeah. Draw some cards off of Psy. <laughs> right, right. So you can just Whoa. keep activating. Actually, sick, mm -hmm. sick play that um, that Kevin could do. He can. Keep applying pressure with this signal pass. Yeah. And block with the Thopter token. Block the Bane Slayer. But before damage is dealt, sack it to, th uh -huh. to Psy. So that Justin won't gain the life and he'll still get the draw. Card. Right, so he'll be able to kill him. Okay. I, yeah. I like what's happening here. So let's go ahead and attack, which we did. Can we get an update on life totals? I feel like... All right, yeah. Justin's at 15, not 4. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so snap here is gonna. What, Ooh, what spell what did we get? I think it's a uh, cryptic. Okay. Yeah, cryptic. Tap the team. Draw oh. a card or something like that. Okay, that's a little lame. Oh no, he picked up the other snapcaster mage. That's, that's a smart play. That is value right there. That's what smart people do. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just really wish we got to see Tezzeret alt <laughs> with a sigh. Like, ah, uh, is that really asking for too much? I don't think it is. Come on, Justin. What the heck, dude? Like, ju yeah. Justin's up a game, too. Like, you, you have forget. a game to throw. Yeah, like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Dude, forget winning the game. Give the streamers what they want, dude. <laughs> like, give the Yeah, like, like come want. on. Like, why would you attack Tezzeret with your Brain Slayer Angel, dude? Like, if you didn't do that, you could have lost the game. What were you thinking? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, jeez. All right, <laughs> calling it and Bane Slayer. Like, why are you trying to win the game? Gosh, and Helix. Oh, no, I think that's looks... game. That's four, yeah. nine, ten, eleven, a oh, lot. No, he's well, he is draw. He, I think he's attempting to well, draw cards off the side. Yeah, yeah. counter soul. If he has the negate, he, if he has a negate. I would be. Wait, if he draw, he could actually win the game here, right? Um, I don't think he can, but we're just gonna pretend that he can. He can win the game. Oh, okay. I'm sure there's some way where he probably apparently, could. Apparently, he just redirected the damage to the spell, spell sky. Oh, he's yeah. a smart player. No way. Oh, 
Did you see what he drew? Was it a thought cast? No, it's an ornithopter. But it gives <laughs> him a dude. It sure does. <laughs> All right, so we have to combo off here with Psy. Get enough artifacts to make the signal pest with the cranial plating lethal. Do you think it's possible? Here we go. Justin's tapped out. Can you get, like, thought cast, thought cast, thought cast, thought cast? Right? Just dude, chain them and draw I... four additional cards and just go off. I want to... I want to see this happen, dude. Come on. <laughs> Sack the Citadel. Just, just the fact that he was able to resolve a Tezzeret and a Psy was, like, mind-blowing here. Oh, oh, okay, yes. okay. Comboing off. All right, let's go. Straight storm yes. count. The Storm count, too. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we were so close. You could probably sack the uh, Springleaf Drum here. All right, so if Kevin's at 14, why not tap team? Draw instead of balancing snap because he wouldn't have had lethal if he draws bolt. I'm not sure if I'm following. If he's at 14, you know, he did have lethal. Assume, or is, <laughs> you mean, another... wait, you mean instead of bouncing snap, bounce spell scat, I think is what you're trying to ask. Did you get another one? He drew an unmoored ego. Okay. And he knows about, <laughs> he knows about the snapcaster in his opponent's hand. Get it. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> There's two snapcasters. Well, I, I think okay. I, I think that's two, right? Or no, he went oh, for cryptic. He gave cryptic command. Okay. Mm. Well, one was already exiled. I don't think Justin wants that in this matchup, really. But I guess there's still four. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if that's gonna like get you out of here. Did you know about the Wrath of God? Yeah, he knew about it. Yeah, because he already did one arm hard to go. Yeah, because he had the um. There was a time when uh Justin had Wrath of God and Bane Slayer in his hand. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, was it your bat? Wait, hold on. I don't know. Uh, Thoughties, dude. Thanks for the follow. What's well, up? Crypt Cryptic is is Justin's way of pushing damage through. Well, yeah, um, no, hold on. So I'm, I'm like thinking about this comment here. So from uh, Super Guy for uh, 52, uh, he basically said, if Kevin's at 14, why not have team and draw instead of bouncing snap? Because wouldn't have had lethal. Blah 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 blah. But he said, my oh, bad. He, he said he would have lethal. Oh, instead of wouldn't, yeah. and then would, and then my bad. Okay. I thought you were saying what you... All right. I understand now. Yeah, that'll do it, man. All right. Let's see what Justin got here. Uh, uh, Path, Helix, Snap, all yeah, the good he, stuff. He, Game's he over. Killed, he removed okay. the Spell Sky and then snapped back the Helix. Ah, so lame. Come on, Justin. Why are you trying to win here? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, in general, I think this Mono Blue Affinity deck is uh, sweet. And there's a lot of... Or, sorry, Grixis Affinity deck. We Yeah, can we update that just for like the last second of this? All right. The Grixis Affinity deck was sweet. Uh, Psy into uh, Tezzeret into Gipper Aethergrid seems reasonable. Yeah, I, I, am, uh, I am a big fan. If there's if there's anything I like, it's playing really, really weird cards in modern. Yeah, um, agreed, yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty sweet. All right, and real quick, we're going to try and speed run uh, everything real quick. All right. If you guys want to help out Top Deck Productions, one, you can donate. We have a Patreon. We have um, Twi or Twitch right here. You guys can subscribe. Uh, you can cheer bitch. You can donate. Uh, any of that, all that helps goes directly into the stream for better content, uh, better equipment, like all that good stuff. It helps pay uh, commentators, streamers, all that great, fantastic stuff. It also helps fund the YouTube page. If you guys want to check out on all of our social medias, we pretty much have every platform. Uh, we have Facebook, uh, Twitter. Uh, you always know Twitch here, YouTube. Instagram, all that good stuff. If you guys want to check us out anywhere there, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, leave likes, uh, subscribes on all that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and last but not least, we do have a giveaway currently for a one true name nemesis. Uh, it's 20 points per ticket, max of 10 tickets per person. Uh, you guys can uh, earn points by following here on Twitch, which gives you 50 points. If you subscribe through us on Twitch, you'll get 500 points. And uh, that's a lot of points because, I mean, that's enough to feel, what, three, almost 2.5 giveaways because it's only 200 points per 10 tickets uh, in a giveaway. We do giveaways every other month. Also, every bit you cheer gets you one point. And you saw uh, Taco Lord 667 cheer 8 bits. Thank you guys uh, so much for all the, all the cheers here. Enjoy those points. Uh, as well as every 10 minutes you watch, you're going to get 5 points. But if you are subscribed to us, you will get 10, point, or 10 points every 10 minutes you watch. And that's pretty much it. Do you have anything else to add, David? Or? Uh, no, really. Not really. Just, uh, you know, come back. We stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, modern. Yeah, right? and then Wednesday we do standard. Uh, but yeah, uh, Rob Meadows, yes, it is a, another Trinity Nemesis. I'm not sure what set it is. Let's see, hold on. I, it, we have it, like, back here somewhere. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, but it'll be shipped out to the winner after the day after the giveaway. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and enter that giveaway, uh, which will be announced next Tuesday. Uh, the stream is over for tonight. We'll be back about 6.30 Eastern tomorrow for um, some standard. Uh, but yeah, besides that, uh, I'm Matthew Meniere. This is David Weisenberg. You guys will catch us next week on Tuesday and probably multiple more Tuesdays to come. Uh, Taco Lord 667, thanks for the follow. Enjoy those points, dude. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Uh, the Keeper, uh, Teal Uck, is now following. Thank you guys so much. All, all those follows really helped us out. I uh, greatly appreciate all that good stuff.